afternoon, is it afternoon? Yeah. Sorry. It's been a long day so far. <laughs> Um, but here was obviously my personal and number one choice because obviously I'd spent so many years here as a Manchester United player and supported the club since I was four or five years old. Um, so to have it here would have been obviously a dream. So to actually have the support of, of Manchester United, which I have to say a big thank you to because to to have a game here is something that is, is very special and sacred, so it um, means a lot. And are you still match fit? Um, I'm pretty fit still. I'm pretty fit. I try to keep myself fit, but um, in match fit, we'll see. We'll see when it uh, actually comes to it. You know, bringing the boss back to to Old Trafford to, into the dugout <laughs> is something that. Um, I think it means so much to so many people. You know, Manchester United fans to see the manager back in the dugout is is a dream. Um, so uh, thankfully, we're going to be doing that, and I think that's one of the reasons why we've we've had so much support from from fans all over the world. Actually, you know, wanting to see the manager back, and it's it's a dream. David, can you just walk towards this one, please? But, you know, I said on the radio the other day, the funny thing is the manager still has that hold over all of us that he has always had uh, for, for many years and I'm, I'm sure will continue to have. I um, saw him a few weeks ago um, and <clears throat> we always went through this as kids. You know, we'd never obviously drink in front of the manager, talk about a night out in front of the manager and then I found myself in a room the other day holding a glass of wine and the manager comes over to me and starts talking to me and I start kind of hiding my glass of wine <laughs> behind my back. Um, so um, the manager will always have that hold over all of us, and, and rightly so. You know, to, to see some of the young players that we've got coming through in this team, um, I think obviously to see what the manager's doing and obviously to, to have Giggsy sat on the line um, kind of preparing himself hopefully at some point uh, to become a manager um, you know I think it's, it's exciting but um, you know tough result of the weekend but um, you yeah, know we move on very quickly from these results. I mean, I've always said that Giggsy is, you know, he has this streak running through him that is uh, that you see in in top managers. Uh, I've always said that you see. I saw it as as a as a player. You know, he's uh, he's so determined, and and when you have someone like that at a club like this, and you know, someone that's from, you know, this part of the world, uh, and knows so much about this club, uh, it's so inbred in in him embedded into him he's you know having someone like that is, is something that means so much to fans um, so I hope at some point that Giggsy does take over um, at some point you know, it might not be for the next five years or ten years but at some point it would be it'd be amazing for the fans to have him thank you by the way Yep. Yeah.